How's it going guys? My name is Ratty. Today I'm going to do a video on how to install VRC, a virtual radar client, uh, for VATPAC. This is for VATSIM, but this video is specifically targeted at the VATPAC region. Uh, you could pro probably use this for other uh, regions, however this is mainly targeted at uh, Australia and Pacific. So first you're going to go to the top link in the description. Uh, to download VRC, you're going to click uh, download and just download uh, from the primary server this top link VRC setup 1.2.4. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the VATPAC page. Uh, go ahead and click operations and sector files. Now, we're using VRC today. If you're going to use Euroscope, that's cool, but we're using VRC today so. Uh, click on Australia download or if you're in the Pacific you can click download there and then download the uh, the POF file so this file and this file so once you do that uh, open up the VRC uh, installer go through all of the just follow the installer and open it you should see a box click on default and then click OK then you get to this screen right here close the controls and chat menu now what we're going to do is make it look uh, okay. So first you're going to go up here into file, open sector and go to where you saved your sector files. This this is what the uh, the folder should look like. You should have a bunch of dot uh, sct2 files. Those are sector2 files. Now you need to click on the sector that you want to control in. So uh, for me, it's SA underscore TMA sector 2. This is for South Australia. If you wanted to do uh, Brisbane, you can do Queensland South, Cairns, Queensland North, Darwin for Northern Territory, and so on. You've got Victoria right here. Uh, the other ones are used for centre controllers. So just if you're going to do uh, tower or ground uh, or approach, just use these ones. So I'm going to click S uh, SA sector 2 file. So once you've done that, just go uh, settings and go radar mode. Make sure it's on tower. Now go into settings again, go color profile and go down to T-A-A-A-T-S. Click on that. That should make it a grayish color. Now go file, uh, sorry, settings general and see where it says pure file click select and go to where you find your POF file for me it's right here Oz POF 39 uh, if you want an alias file you can get that from your instructor uh, but at the moment I'm just going to use a POF file that is not uh, necessary you don't need that uh, now I'm just going to go through hotkeys you can change the push to talk key if you want I normally change it uh, to delete key on my keyboard and these can do you can change them if you want airspace now if you're doing a, if you're gonna be a tower control controller or observe a tower controller make sure to set this to 50 nautical miles if you're a if you're observing a approach controller set this to 150 and if you're a cent if you're observing a center controller Set this to 300 nautical miles. I'm going to observe an approach controller, so I'm going to set it to 150. Arrival fuels will just be your uh, the airport that you want to control at. And the transition altitude you're going to change down to 10,000 if you're in Australia. In America it's uh, uh, 18,000 feet. I'm not sure what it is in uh, Europe or Asia. Just look up where look at um, yeah so anything in data tags flight strips conflict alerts and button bar is up to your discretion flight strips I'd recommend try and mem uh, memorize just these colors or change them if you want if you're going to use the flight strip click op apply and okay this error will probably come up if you don't have an alias file that's all right now you can zoom in using the scroll wheel and you can move around the uh, the map using the right click button 
like this. Um, so that's just how to navigate the radar. So now I'm going to go up into the tools menu. Uh, these are all of the uh, kind of the panels. Uh, I'm going to open the controller list and I'm going to put it up here. This is my normal setup. Aircraft list, I'm going to put it right here. They actually snap into place, which is very good. And comms panel, I'm going to put down here. <sighs> okay, so now I've got these set up. I can also set up the flight strip bay if I'm going to use it. Uh, you can right click on the aircraft, not on the, uh, the, the, the text, but actually on the aircraft. Right click on them and then click add to flight strip bay and you can add them um, to, uh, to here. You can use .sep to actually add a separator. So I can go taxi right here and then it will add this right here. So you can uh, then categorize them. So I normally like to go ramp and then dot .sep uh, in bound outbound. That's how I normally set it up. I normally also put this on my other monitor, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to close it to save up the space. Now to this comms panel. This is uh, what connect lets you connect to the radios. So I'm going to be observing uh, Adelaide approach. So I'm just going to click on the first or any empty slot of your choice. I'm just going to click here. Now there's four boxes that you'll see down here. The first one is just going to be the name. So AD dash APP. Frequency is just the frequency. So 124 decimal 200. The server uh, is actually a, you have to find that from whatever se sector or region you control at, but in uh, VATPAC it is rw1.vatpac.org. And then the channel is going to be ad underscore app. So that's the same format in um, every controller position. So you can go uh, ML dash uh, GND for Melbourne ground. So the position name is the uh, the airport dash position, and then the the Vox channel is airport underscore position. Frequency is normal. It can the the voice the voice frequency uh, service sorry can change. It can be RW two or RW three, but most likely it's going to be RW one. Click save changes. Uh, and that is the communications panel done. You can add extra ones if you want to. So now it's time to actually observe controllers. When, if you don't have a controllers, uh, if you're not allowed to control, observing is totally fine. In fact, uh, in most uh, regions, observing controllers is uh, necessary. And this is how to do it. First, you're going to go into the comms panel. Actually, no, no, sorry. Sorry, 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 my bad. You're going to go file and connect. Now, you're just going to connect uh, to the network. So, the call sign is going to be uh, your initials, so my RD underscore OBS, if you're observing. Then you got your real name. I can't spell my own name. Facility is definitely going to be observer and rating is going to be observer. Unless you're a student uh, pl uh, controller, then you can put student two, but you're still observing. So put that as observer. And then your certificate ID and your password are just your normal VATSIM ID and password. I'm going to put these in and uh, I'll be back with you in one second. Okay. So this is my uh, my details. Click uh, select your server. I'm going to go Australia and click connect. So now I've connected. There are obviously a bunch of changes. You can see that there are a couple of uh, controllers up here. 
uh, you can see uh, there's Adelaide Approach, there's uh, Melbourne Flight Services, and Adelaide ATIS. Uh, I'm going to be tuning into Adelaide Approach today. So, go in here and click on RX and headset. You can also click on speaker if you want to, however, that is not necessary um, for observing. Uh, but if you're observing, do not click TX or, and do not click primary. Um, I think that's that's it. Now you're online, now you're on VATSIM, and you can hear the controller. You can hear Adelaide Approach. Uh, obviously, there's no one at Adelaide Approach. There's no one at Adelaide. But, uh, yeah. That is um, how to observe. I've got a couple of other things. First, you're going to go down to View and make sure that static text is always on. And I'd suggest airports go on uh, and fixes is right here. So if you want to have waypoints on, you can. But I suggest just having uh, airports and uh, static text on. So static text will give you taxiways of the airport. And uh, now you've also got all the airports around the area. Um... Yeah, okay, so I've got some, some other tips just to make it a bit easier to give you information about um, the airport. So, uh, first of all, if you want to measure distance between something, you can double click and drag. It'll give you the heading, so that's 240 and 7 or 6, whatever uh, nautical miles. So, if I want to measure the distance between Adelaide Airport and Kingscote Airport, I can double click on Adelaide, drag over, and I know that it is 68.7 miles, and it is at a heading of 220 from Adelaide to Kingscote. It's also, uh, yeah, 037 from Kingscote to Adelaide. Uh, another one is only if you're online. However, if you uh, press Q uh, F2, if I press F2, it will go up, it will put in the chat Q, dot QD, and then it put a, um, an airport in, so go Yankee Papa Alpha Delta, click enter, and now you can see the airport up here has wind information, so 210 at 8 knots, and a QNH1024. If you want more detailed weather information, just click on here, now you've got the meta. Uh, this only works if you're online though, so when you go offline, it will not work. Uh, another one is timer, is a timer. So, um, when someone takes off, uh, a lot of the time, you have to wait two minutes for the next aircraft to take off. And up here, you can see two minutes and three minutes. If you click on here, you can see this, it starts a countdown of two minutes. Um, going across here, you've also got the time in Zulu time, uh, your position name, and your primary frequency if you're actually controlling. Up here, you've got four boxes. If you see uh, the C flashing, go Tools, Incoming Chat Log, and it will go. It will pop up uh, your message in here. I got very confused about that one. I did not know what was happening. Uh, and that was actually because, in general, I had my airspace set to 600, which is not allowed on VATSIM. So that is how to set up VRC on VATSIM, in particular VATPAC. Hope you liked the video. If you found it interesting or helpful, click the like button. If you did not find it helpful, click the uh, nothing. But if you really disliked it, um, click the dislike button. If you enjoy my content, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Uh, but before we go, we've got an aircraft spawning. We've got Delta, uh, Delta Tango Papa. Uh, if you right-click, you get a bunch of options here. You can set his voice type. You can change his, uh, his or her, uh, flight plan. And we've got two now. 
So you can see up here in departures, we've got Qantas 690 uh, up here ready to depart. Unfortunately, it doesn't show gate numbers, so you will have to use SBA Air, Air Services Australia. That will be the third link in the description uh, of this video. You can also click on the aircraft uh, up here to then show the flight number, aircraft, uh, I think this is probably Squawk, route, uh, I think this is cruising altitude possibly, and then their route, so Bendo. Another quick tip is if you go view, uh, you can go diagrams and it will show all of the seeds and stars for that airport. Uh, sorry, this video has dragged on a bit too long. So, without further ado, I'm going to end this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my name's been Ratty, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.